How's it going, nerds? Good to see you. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Welcome back to our little transportation company, which I, I say that every time, and I say this every time as well. I don't think we should be calling it a little transportation company anymore. It has $1.2 billion. I think little is maybe cutting it a little bit short. Now, today... I want to focus a little bit more on the silver production, the machines production, and getting machines into the likes of Little Hampton. I say focus more on it. It's It doesn't need focused on. It's doing okay. But I am noticing that we are a little short on silver over here. And that this guy's shipment is only 400 of 600. So I'd kind of like to make that better. And then I noticed that this guy hasn't upgraded yet. So, it'd be kind of nice to do that. It'd be kind of nice to get this guy upgraded, make it better, you know, give it more production, because it's not running all that well either. And then see if we can maybe, you know, do some good things and get this going a little bit better. I am wondering if maybe, I mean, transport 100, shipping 400, hmm. Transport 96, shipping 100. I'm wondering if maybe you have just hit a bit of a threshold uh, on what you're able to do. You do have a good amount stored. I just don't think you're... I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know what's going on with that. I'm not 100% sure. And then looking here, I mean, this is producing. It's just not producing as much as I'd like. Or we have maybe got too many vehicles. I don't know. We'll come back and take a bit of a look at this and see how it ends up going. But for now... I want to actually go to this line, and I want to manage the vehicle, and I actually want to manage all of them, because I want to modify them a little bit. I want to make them longer, and to do that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say, give me one, two, three, four, five, and six more flat cars with side stakes on each of them, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, exactly the same on this one as well. And then I want more box cars as well. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're gonna do the same here as well. And the same on the first one as well. We're gonna just make them longer. 404 meters, it's 13 million to make that upgrade. Some very, very long trains now, but that I think is gonna be good to help us move a bunch more of the uh, silver and a bunch more of just everything that we want to move. Now, in doing that, before I run the game, and this is, the, I've got it paused intentionally this time. I want to come over here, and I want to take out these signals, take out this guy, and I'm going to move that little crossover section of track down to about right there, because I think it's going to need to be right about there. And hopefully that ends up working out for us. We'll put that guy there, we'll put you there, and that'll be all right. And I want to make sure that we're in a spot over in Morton Hampstead where we can get the trains out of here no problem as well. So I'm going to move this crossover point a little bit as well. We're going to move those signals a little bit. I'm going to move this crossover point to about here. There's probably an actual name for these things. It's probably not just crossover point. Uh, but, you know, there you go. Uh, so that should be fine. And that'll let us do our thing. That'll let the trains do their thing. And hopefully they're not going to have too many issues getting around with uh, how big they are now. All in all, I'm just thinking it's going to move more. That's that's kind of my goal. That's kind of what I'm wanting, is just more silver to be moved. And also, this guy is now going to be upgrading. Which is great. So we have that going ahead. We have you still doing whatever you're doing. That's fine. You've got a little bit of a stockpile there, so that's maybe good. This might just, we might just need another one. We might just need to connect this guy down here. I don't know. But we have that going. We'll have a bunch more silver moving out, and that's going to be beautiful. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to start looking at, say, construction materials for Yately. Because I don't think... Are we doing that? No, we're doing goods to Yately. So construction materials to Yately would be lovely. We have got a construction materials plant up here with no visible quarry nearby, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, but then we have things like food, right? And I've talked about this, and I talked about it in the last episode as well, how I wanted to turn this entire sort of northwestern corner of the map into a massive hub 
for food. And that is still something I'm thinking I want to do. And if I remember right, the same train cars can move coffee berries as can move coffee beans as can move food. So what we could do potentially is set up a train that goes out of here, takes coffee berries, brings them up to here, brings them over down to here, and then all that food can be loaded onto a train and taken down to the south end of the map because we probably would have a fair bit of excess food. I think that would be a good idea. I do. I think that would maybe be the way to do it. Now, it's going to be a bunch more vehicles in this space, but that's all right. What's a Junkers F-13? Oh, now that changes everything. That changes everything because, oh, my game is not going to like me for even considering this right now. It's already running at a bit of a snail's pace, but what if we did, what if we did a little cargo airport? And I think I talked about this in the last episode. What if we did a cargo airport? to move food out of this region. So a cargo airport could live, say, right about there, right? It's a little cargo airport. We're going to need to connect it to roads, and we're going to need to hope that this actually works out. Uh, so that is connected to the airport. And if I bring this guy sort of straight down there, do you... Oh, man, I don't... I don't... I don't know how well this is necessarily going to work because what I'm what I'm wanting to know is does the cargo airport sort of cover this, right? Do I need to take things by truck to the cargo airport when it's there? I'm kind of hoping I don't, but I feel like I might have to. Uh, so, I mean, you cover that. What if I were to look at buildings in here? So truck station there, it does cover it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I'm thinking, right? Cargo airport right there. And then what we could do is take, I don't know, food by, by, pl I mean, food by plane right now is probably a terrible idea. How big is the plane is the question. I've gotten really carried away already. It's a passenger plane anyway. Okay. All right. All right. I'll tell you what. Get rid of that. We'll do it eventually. If we have a little passenger plane, let's get an airport up here in Rochester, since it has our biggest train station right now. So let's redo a couple of things. Let's let's redo a couple of things here. Uh, redo this road so it can sort of come over. There's probably fine. We can take out this entire section. And I'm going to redo this bit as well. So what we'll do is we'll bring a street out of here. We're going to keep some tram tracks on it. It's not electrified, but that's okay. We'll bring it to about, say, we'll go to about here. And what I'm going to try and do is put the airport right next to the train station because I think that would be kind of huge. So we're going to bring this entire section of I guess, road down to there, which will connect to all those side buildings, which is kind of neat. We'll take you out and then we'll turn off tram tracks. We'll bring you up to here, connecting it something like that. And my thinking is we upgrade to a bit of a, well, we probably don't need to upgrade to a large street. We'll bring this guy out. I'm hoping this will kind of work. And then we just connect those together. So you are going to come in sort of like, like this. You are going to curve up a bit like this. And you're going to go to about there. And that'll be all right. Not the nicest road into Rochester, but it'll do the job. And then in terms of an airport, does it fit? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Well, I'm going to need a bit more space for this to actually work then. That's, that's, that's fine. I'm not really sure why I expected it would fit in, you know, such a small space, but. We have a road over here, so we can we can make that work, and it'll honestly probably look better anyway. And we have an airport, and I think it looks all right. And we have trams coming out to it, so people can actually get to the airport, which is kind of exciting. Uh, now, I need to figure out where it's going, because there's not a lot of point in sending it somewhere that I don't that, that, that people aren't going to want to go to, right? Now, there's a few people wanting to go around Little Hampton. There's not 
as many as I'd like. There are a decent few in Thatcham as well. Morton Hampstead has a good few as well. South Shields as well, and Ashton Underline actually has a shocking number of people wanting to get around. So, I'm thinking Ashton. I'm honestly thinking Ashton Underline is where we're going to put the other airport. And I don't think people are going to be thrilled about, you know, having the airport sort of right in here, I guess. But uh, they're going to have to deal with that is what they're going to have to do. And I think what I'm going to do as well is take out all of this and then put the airport on that bit of road. So that road is going to come out something like this. And then this guy is going to go all the way back to about there. This guy is going to come out to about there. And we'll just curve up something like that. I think that'll be okay. So that kind of works out. Gives us room for the airport near the train station, which I think is kind of important. And uh, what we can do is put it something like, I don't know, I guess right about there is, uh, is a decent little spot. So that's where it can live. I did go ahead and upgrade the airport in Rochester. I gave it a few more passenger terminals. We don't really need to do that here. Uh, and I think what I'll do as well is go ahead and expand the tram lines. So we'll get this guy, this entire stretch of road, just nicely upgraded. And then in terms of actually putting tram lines in here, I think we're going to need to take a look at this line which is going to be a little weird to deal with. I think there is going to be a little bit of overlap here, but we're kind of just going to need to deal with that. Uh, so buildings, bus slash tram stop can go right about there. If we manage that line, we go to stop one, we add a station there. Yes, it cuts over itself, but that's okay. So that's going to give us access to the airport and that's fine by me. Now what I'm going to do is from here. Now what does it do? It comes in, it lands from the side I'd want it to land from. We're going to take it all the way up to Rochester. I don't know that this line is going to be at all profitable. I don't really care if I'm completely honest. I just, I just don't. I just want it to exist. That is it. Uh, we're going to make it, I'm going to make it yellow. Since the channel color these days is yellow, we're going to go with yellow. And it's going to be air passengers, I guess. So AC will be air cargo. And it's going to be Rochester to Ashton. And that'll kind of work out. So let me buy some planes. Let me buy some planes. This is, oh man, they're only $264,000. They're also... I mean, they're fat. They're faster than anything else we have right now, but it's definitely, uh, definitely going to be interesting. Give me like three of them, make them yellow and, uh, set them on the, on the line and away they go away. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's a weird looking little plane, isn't it? That makes me so happy though. Oh, that makes me so happy. I don't think they're ever going to get used. I really don't, but that makes me so happy to see. It really does. Oh, man. I hope it does get some use. I hope we see them actually get some use, because that'd be kind of cool to get people moving by playing this early on, but I really, really doubt it. I really do. I mean, looking down in Ashton, have we got anyone at the airport? <laughs> that's not Ashton. Uh, that's Ashton. No. No, we don't. <laughs> I mean... I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm expecting. Let's be honest. I really don't. It's just cool. I just want, I just want airplanes because I can have them. That's, that's, that's about it. So we have them. Oh man, this is, this is going to be exciting. Now, while we're waiting for that to figure itself out, I do want to have a look in here and see how things are going. We have a lot of steel. We have a lot of plastic, but we do have goods production going ahead. We have a good number of goods waiting to head out of Great Yarmouth as well. We have a good number of goods waiting to head out of here as well. And then over this way towards plastic production, I mean, looking at it, 
I'm thinking, since we have another one of these trains coming in, I'm thinking we maybe want to be moving a bit more. Right? I'm definitely getting the feeling. So what can you carry right now? 160. So you pick up 160 and you immediately head back out. There's 215 still waiting with another bunch almost ready to go. Maybe we don't need more trains. Yeah, because we have another one coming in here. So I think... I think we're actually all right. So that's nice. It's always good that that's working out. Uh, looking up this way towards the grain train headquarters right here. This is doing all right as well. So I think having the four trains in that has kind of worked out. Uh, but we could be moving more. We actually, we really could. We really could be moving so much more here. Um... I mean, we can, so hold on. What, what is your, your production right now? Your production is 300. What are you able to move? 280. Give me another. Hold on. Let me. What have I just unlocked? Ooh. What is that? What is that? That's a weird looking thing. We also got a proper little bus though. Um, I'm going to have to play around with those in just a second. But let me uh, pin this for a second so rate 280 give me another one rate 294 give me one more give me 308 that that seems like it'll kind of work out give me 308 we'll see if that moves a little bit more over there now let me have a look here because we did just get that weird looking thing so that's a, that's that's electric it's this now, it can only do 47 miles per hour, but it's very powerful. It's very cool looking as well. Like, it's, it's, I say cool looking, it's really weird looking, but I, I like it. We also have this, which I'm not even going to try and pronounce, but that I think is going to be good for all of our passenger lines. So, let's, let's start with you, and uh, I would start with an RGB one that I have to manually go in and edit. Okay. I'll tell you what. Sell two of them. They're not going to love me for doing that, but I'm going to sell two of them. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, whatever. Um, get rid of all these guys. We want you in green, and then we want you in blue, and then we want to do this whole thing again of R and G and B. 85 capacity is not bad. Let's do another round of them and see what it goes up to. That goes up to 136. You know what? I'm just going to do another round. We'll just we'll just go for it. We're going to do a bunch of these. We're going to start getting some properly long passenger trains too. So 187 capacity is pretty good. That works for me. Let's modify for 11 million. Let's duplicate and duplicate. It's not like we can't afford it. And we'll have uh, all of those trains heading out uh, eventually. I'm not really sure where they're going to be heading out from. Apparently not here. Uh, I would imagine over by Rochester, right? If we take a little bit of a look, is it uh, what it is? Look at that. Look at that. It's even more vibrant than it was before, which is hard to believe, but it is. That's, that is something. Uh, are you on the right track, though? I feel like you're not. I do get the feeling that you're not. That's a little worrying. Hold on a minute. So you come out of there. You're doing some weird stuff. Let me um, let me do this. So do do that right there, and that should put you on the. Uh oh, oh dear. Uh, I think you need to be turned around or put on the right section of track as well. So if I do that, are you gonna cross over? No. Wait. What are you doing? What line are you? Yeah, you are definitely on the wrong side of the track. You're getting flipped around, fella. So you're gonna go that way now. What are you waiting for? Is kind of my question here. I'm not actually... I'm not actually sure what you're waiting for. You might be waiting for the other train to come back in. So you might be waiting for this guy to kind of come through before you can go cross over. Maybe. I'm hoping that's what you're waiting for. So that train goes through. It looks amazing. Yeah, that's exactly what you were waiting for. Okay. So you're on the wrong side of the track as well. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, flip, please. So you're going that way. And then I'm going to need you to wait. So you're going to stop there, wait for the other guy to cross over. And then you can go in and do your thing. Are you full? 127. Okay. Well, so here's what I'm thinking. Northern line. Let's make some changes to it. So manage line. So Rochester is stop number one. Let's have a wait for full load maximum stop time three minutes or maybe five minutes so it's gonna wait in rochester for you know a, a sort of full load of people and i think we'll do the same when it gets to tadcaster as well since those are kind of like the terminus spots so we'll wait for a maximum of five minutes there i don't know that i'm gonna thank myself for that necessarily but I just think it might be a bit of an idea to kind of be like, hey, chill, right? Wait for a second, see how you go, see if it fills up, see what's going on. So here's a little something I am considering doing. We have a lot of oil sand here and we're making some considerable oil sand deliveries over to Wolverhampton, right? Why don't we just have those trains go straight through? and drop the oil sand off over here. I know it's maybe a little weird to have, you know, stations that close together, but I just feel like the trucks are kind of unnecessary. I feel like we could probably just make it so much, like we can get rid of the oil sand trucks completely and just overload this thing with oil sand and get production going kind of nuts. I think that is kind of what I'm wanting to do. So let's, do a station let's let's get ourselves a cargo terminus station nice long platforms and uh i'm thinking basically sort of there would uh would be kind of perfect for it or maybe a little bit further is kind of this way so something like i think something like that would be pretty good it might it might be a little slow but i think that'll be fine it's yeah it's a little steep but that's that's kind of okay. We can we can make that work. I just think it'd be a good idea. I think it'd be good to get rid of the the trucks and just let things kind of go a little bit faster. So in terms of the oil sand delivery, where is it coming into? So it is right in here. So what we're going to want to do with that is keep it pinned and basically we're going to want to come off of, let's see, off of about here, I think. And essentially, we're going to want to go there. Now, that is going to be, that's actually not as slow as I thought it was going to be, which is kind of lovely. Uh, we will have it electric and we will say, go ahead and build that. And then we want to do exactly the same thing uh, from... I think that's about the same spot. In fact, it might be easier to go in the other direction with this. Uh, so from here, we want to go and do, uh, let's see, that right there. And that's going to let the trains come through, do their thing, chill, drop things off, and get back out there. So they're going to come in on the left. We're going to have them cross over about here, which is a little bit more of a distance than I usually do, but I think these are quite long trains, so it's probably worth doing. Uh, so what way is that going to work in terms of signals? I think it's going to be a signal there. And we'll do one there as well, just in case. And uh, I think I'm going to kind of put the signals relatively close together for this. Uh, we probably don't want one that's going to like block the station though. So this might, this might get a little weird. It definitely might. But I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, let's do one here as well. Let's do one right about here. And we'll do one just before that road as well. So that should be okay. So that, I'm hoping, is going to work. I'm hoping that's just going to make things a bit better for us. So if I take this out, leak becomes station number one. If I go to, say, here, it comes in. It does its thing. It's going to unload oil sand. And that should be fine. So those trucks should be completely pointless now. 
and that's that is fine by me that is totally okay uh the train heads back out and no harm done so we'll see if that works we'll see if that ends up being a better solution than uh than this truck line that we've had for a while which means actually we can go and say you know manage vehicles grab all of them and sell them and then we can so wolverhampton fuel sand production if we go here we can uh so that's wolverhampton oil sand that's not what we're looking for uh we are looking for road cargo we are looking for wolverhampton fuel sand production Bye bye we don't need it anymore i'm hoping this works i really am i'm really hoping for uh for something good out of this i think this will just help us quite a bit i think it'll really help to uh push production up quite a bit right here and i'm also hoping that it means well so we have a lot of <laughs> we have a lot of oil sand waiting around so this guy is it's it's shipments not that great production is 600 right now we haven't even upgraded the vehicles of which there are 80 so upgrade those to carry oil sand and what is that line right now? So 315. Okay, so keep that pinned. Production here is 600. So that says to me, I could probably go ahead and grab, say, one, two, three, four, five, and just duplicate a bunch of these until the rate is closer to 600. In fact, I probably want to grab more than five and uh, do it that way. So grab 10, duplicate. We're up to 511. We're up to 551. We're up to 590. So that'll do. 150 vehicles doing that. Honestly, a train would probably be so much better. But we're doing the 150 vehicles because I think that's now the biggest or the, the highest number of vehicles that we have in a single line anywhere. Now, the question is, can the trains actually keep up with all of that? The answer, of course, is I have no idea, and we're just going to have to wait and see. But as it stands, we have a lot of oil sand. And we only have one train moving it as well, so... It might not actually be a bad idea to get another one. I think I think that's exactly what we're going to have to do. So we'll get that train in here at some point. Uh, we have our army of new vehicles heading down here, which is going to be absolutely ludicrous once we get all of those moving. And uh, look in here as well. This thing is... So your production is not as good as I would like. That's frustrating. Uh, looking here. Your production... Yeah, you need more coal. That's interesting. Oh, what is this? Oh, we got another plane. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm kind of excited that we just keep getting more planes now. Um, let's see. Let me expand this a bit. Just to let a few more vehicles in there. So something a bit like that should be fine. Uh, we could probably upgrade all of these too. So if I go to manage vehicle and I select, you know, all of you. What are we what are we looking for here? So that one. And that should be alright. And then looking at the coal one. Uh, we're going to want to do the same thing of which there's 110. So upgrade there. Alright. So we'll see how that works out. I imagine that's going to start, you know, causing chaos. In fact, production is 600, right? So if I look at you, 707. Let me manage some vehicles here. Let me let me keep that line pinned, though. Because here's what I'm thinking. Sell a single vehicle. 698. I think we're going to want to sell a few more than just a single vehicle. So 660. Let me get rid of 5. And that brings us down to 613. Let me get rid of 2. 594. So the reason I'm doing that is I think the, the rate needs to be lower than the production. Otherwise, we're going to, you know, run the place. We're going to start running trucks kind of empty. Uh, 600 here. So if I click U and we pin that line, it's 627. Manage vehicles. Give me one cell. We go to 622. Give me four vehicles. We'll sell those. And 600 flat. Okay. So we'll see how that goes as well. I think this guy could probably do with being expanded a bit as well, though. So we'll just let more vehicles into the, uh, into the yard. 
So that kind of works out. And uh, that'll hopefully stop vehicles from kind of backing up onto the road as much as they were. Although this is chaos. It just continues to be absolute chaos, as expected. Uh, I wonder if there's something I could do about that. What if we were to go in and say, take out this chunk of road, right? And we were to do something a bit different. What if we grab you? We don't want tram tracks in this. We don't need them. Uh, we go from here to there. So we have, we have that bit of road, and that's okay. And I want to upgrade all of that a little bit faster. But what I'm also thinking is that we could potentially, and I don't know how well this will work, but we're going to come down like this. And we're going to go something like, like this. I, I don't, I'm, I'm not confident that this is going to be what I want it to be. I'm not confident this will be the solution to all of our traffic problems. But to be fair, I've said that a million times in City Skylines videos and I'm usually right. So at least I can be confident in my being wrong about this fixing anything. Uh, so no vehicles are using that. That's slightly disappointing. Why? Why are no vehicles using that? Is it just too long? I think it might be. I do think it might be, but what if I was to say, get rid of that? Because that then forces them to use the lower road, right? Yeah. I don't know if that's going to be beneficial or not. But it is at the very least going to take some traffic away from here. And I think that is going to be kind of beneficial. Right? Like that, that sort of makes sense to me that that, that would kind of work out that way. So if I just took out this entire section of road, we now kind of force all that traffic down and we'll just see how it works out, I suppose. It's a bit weird, a bit of a weird decision to do, but I don't know. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see what it ends up doing. Uh, these guys are coming in. They're looping around, I think. I'm not really sure why they're all looping around. I don't know. I think they are stopping. Okay. Yeah, we'll see how that plays out. We also have some older vehicles in here. Leak Steel Tools Production. So let me upgrade those as well. So you are going to be that. And we should also go ahead and upgrade all of our... Well, I say all. Some of our buses. We could certainly do with a bit of an upgrade. So let's see. Rochester. Oh my god, there's someone wanting a plane! There's five people wanting the plane! Oh! This is amazing. This is the best day of my life. It's... <laughs> oh my god. That's kind of great. Okay. That's... That's good. That's... That's... That's good. There's people wanting to move on... 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 On planes. Okay. It's not a complete waste of money. It's a... It's a pretty big waste of money, but it's not a complete one. Uh, let me come in here. And let me grab you. So manage these guys. What are we replacing you with? So we have the Schneider PB2. 22 miles per hour. We have this guy. I can do... I can just carry more. I mean... The Schneider is nice and all, but this guy can carry more. So I think that's what we're going to go with. That, that just makes sense, right? Just carry more people. Especially with how many people are wanting on the likes of the Northwestern line, so... We'll see how that goes. And also, this is full again, which is lovely. That's that's exactly what I wanted. And this over here is doing okay. Okay, that's good. Uh, in terms of money, we're approaching $1.5 billion as well. In terms of plastic, we are running in excess again, and we're actually only going to get more excess right there. So, you know, the more I think about it, the more I really think we probably do need another train here. Let me keep this pin for a second. We have 160. So you're... Where are you? Wait, why is it not... Oh, hold on. Uh, you. So you're here on the way back, which is still a bit of a distance. Um, you are here about to make a delivery, and you are here on the way back as well. Um, yeah, I want another train on that line. 
I think that's going to be pretty good for us. And uh, actually, why don't we just sell three of them, modify one, and then get three more of these. So, in terms of doing this, I'd love to make it electric, but it is just slow. It is. It, it's just a bit slow. Um, you know, I, we, we downgraded, right? We, we got rid of this guy and we went for this guy instead. I think we're going to go back to the A35 because it is a more powerful train. And I think we're going to need that because I'm going to take these wagons and I'm going to go up to a total of 200 per train. I think, I think that's a pretty good idea. I do. Uh, in fact, we could probably go a bit further with it, but 200 per train is okay. So we'll modify that. We'll duplicate. We'll duplicate. And we'll duplicate. And we'll duplicate again. And the reason I'm duplicating again is this is a 25-year-old train. Now, parts have been replaced here and there, but I think we're going to retire the 25-year-old train. So now we have a rate of 280, a frequency of 9 minutes, a total capacity of 800 across all trains. I think that'll work out because we have a lot of plastic. We really do. In fact, looking at it, I'm almost tempted to try and extend the platforms so that we're not wasting uh, plastic. So let's give that a shot, actually. Let's let's see if that's something I can do. So take you out, take you out, take you out, and uh, bring those back to about there is probably fine. So all of this comes out. And what I want to do is configure, and I want to just see how 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 long I can make a train station, right? So actually, not all that much longer, unfortunately. Uh, I could extend that side as well, though, which we might want to do. We'll see. Uh, also, honestly, the tracks probably should be electrified, but eh, we'll we'll come back and do that at some point. Uh, so you kind of go like this, and we want to do the same here as well and that's all right that is also still full though so we might want to do kind of a similar thing on this side so kind of you know cut you off a little bit and extend you know from here as well so we want to go to tracks we want to go one two i can only do two on this side that's okay uh so that is at least going to give us just a bit more space for the platforms to or for the uh, the goods to just exist and that's that's kind of what we need uh so you connect oh too much slope interesting okay we'll see how that goes i guess can i do this i can and can i do this does that connect i don't know that it does um construction not possible interesting all right what about from there also not possible. I guess it's maybe the crossover point causing problems. So if I do this instead, there we go. And then what about here? There we go. Okay, so that's fine. And then on this side, it's just going to be a similar little setup. So straight out to there and straight out to there. The train's coming in on the left side, so it needs to cross over, say, here. And that should be all right. I think that'll that'll be good. I think that is now the longest uh, train station that we have, but it also means that we're not necessarily going to be losing all of the plastic that we have. We can actually fill up the platform a bit more before we start running into the issue of losing goods. So that's kind of what we want. And hopefully the new trains are going to do good things for us as well. Now, I think we're probably good to start looking at wrapping things up, but I do just want to have a little look here. We have seven people waiting to head out on this line. We have actually got some people on board some of the planes too, which is which is kind of cool. Um, what about you? No one on board. Three people on board. Where are you? So you're here. You're actually getting ready to come in for a landing. How much money do these planes make just moving three people at a time? That's what I want to know. Because I'm, I'm very, very curious about that. We did also get a new plane as well, so... Might be worth taking a look at that and seeing what it can do. But I just need to know how much are we looking at here. 228,000. It's actually not terrible, is it? 
It's not terrible. Now, let's look at this other plane. It's a cargo plane. Ooh. Now, it can't move much. It can't move much. So, I don't know that my food idea is necessarily going to go ahead yet. But we could certainly build the, uh, we could certainly build the airport. And we could certainly, certainly try getting my, uh, my grand food idea going. But, we're not going to be doing it today. Because that is going to do us for today. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always my throat is, is is dying on me it's been an absolute pleasure as always and i'll see you next time Bye bye